Okay guys, this is my third visit to my mate's amazing fields. Uh, I've been going half an hour and I come to an area where some nice bits popped up last time for a few of us. And I've just had my first great find, look. There she is, sitting right there. I think it might be avoided long cross hammered coin. I'll have a look at it, made up. I love this field and I love my amphibio and I'll just give this coil a little wipe uh, I don't know whether he's a Henry or something but when I take that little bend out of it very gently that king that's smiling at me there is he's mint isn't he he's absolutely mint I love him I really love him I love the field I love my metal detector and I love this coin blooming amazing kids on the Pirates with Anglo-Celtic metal detecting. Okay, just pop this. The clay's sticking to it, so you can't see that it's probably got a dark partner underneath. I, I believe it'll be um, a medieval pot leg, that. A leg of a pot. Medieval. Cool. Carol's got some amazing James I gun money, which is really rare, and it looks in great condition. I've seen a picture. I'll get some video. Just working my way back to the car to put my coat and hat in the car because the sun's out. I'm very close to the cars, it's really trashy. Signals banging everywhere, but I thought, well, it's got to be something old in amongst it. This is a little figure. I think it's made out of lead. Looks like somebody with a skirt and a shield. Almost like a Roman soldier or something, I don't know. I was a shield though it's possibly depicting a bow and arrow but probably a shield and that looks like a bit of a skirt like it could be like the stuff that Roman soldiers wore cool got no idea what this thing is but it's got an old patterner on it like bronze or something or possibly a squashed thimble but it's too heavy and constructed for the thimble and it looks too old the patterner so that's something probably fairly ancient, but I don't know what. So there's uh, hammered coins and Romans on these fields. I'm hoping that the amphibios put me on my first Roman of the day. See it there? Let's hope it ain't a button. Oh no, this is definitely a Roman all day. Where is he? Sorry, I can't see hardly in this light. I'll give it a light dusting, see what's on it. Okay, just catching up with four of us in the field. There's my hammy just under the little figure I found. Far left. It's an amazing... Um, what's your name again, bud? Rob. Sorry, because I just Rob. speak to that many people and, and my brain's like... <laughs> Too much there today, no? <laughs> right, Rob, Jordan's mate Rob has got that lovely Constantine Roman. I've got a little blank Roman next to it. That's the hammy. Carol's got that amazing gun money, which yes. is rare as hen's teeth. Just above it, she's got a Vicky Silver, and next to that, she's got a toasted hammered. There's a jet in next to that, and my small child's thimble. So, just over an hour in. Smashing it with the pirate puffs. Okay, I just popped this. I thought it was just another blank button or a worn Roman. Turned it over, and this amazing design popped out. Like shield, all the floor, the fleur de lis going on there. Not sure whether it's like the front face of a seal and the back's broken away, but whatever it is, it's beautiful and we're happy. I'm out here today with Rachel and Buster and we're enjoying ourselves. Top pirate puffs rocking it on the ancient treasure. Okay, guys, just pop this. I had a look of something being man-made, but I couldn't tell looking at it that way. Turned it over, and initially on the other side, when I show you now, it looked all corroded. But with a bit of a wipe, there's definitely a face on this stuff. That's old. 
and it's mysterious and I'll be very interested to find out exactly what it is look it's very thick as well look it's about oh I don't know about a good four mil thick very substantially made and it's cool I like it Amphibio on it again it's hard to see in this light I'll put my finger there so that I can guide you in on it but I can't actually see it so there it is look it's another little Roman bronze by the looks of it I'll give it a wipe Let's hope this one's got a bit more detail that last one was pretty blank yeah okay this ain't too bad it's got bits on both sides it's not a minter but it's certainly not blank there's a goddess there god goddess not sure and there is the emperor oh so, not bad not bad i'll take that kids i'll take that and put it in with the rest of my booty <laughs> can't say enough of how much I like this amazing amphibio yeah I just dug a bit of iron I don't care just hiding anything underneath and not to frame me half time round up got that whatever it turns out to be it's blank on the other side but it's about a good two mil thick Roman Roman hammered and people on Facebook are saying that guy's probably a pipe tamper but I'll take that rocking it absolutely rocking it and i love it and the sun's out all right kids uh i ain't gonna have any food today when i'm on good land i can do about 18 hours on half an eccles cake just gonna keep rocking rolling might have a fag little fag on my australian friends that means cigarette doesn't mean anything else but a fag Got the bunt, bunt Meister out with me today. Rachel's there. I can't even see what I'm filming because the sun's that much in my eyes. Hopefully you can see Bunty. Oh, he's, he's just a cute little dog, that fella. He's the best, aren't you, Bunt? Give us a kiss, mate. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Ow! Okay, this one is a, a big chunky Roman Cistercius. It is toasted, but it's definitely Roman. And uh, I brought Rachel out today in the hope that her and Bunty would get her first ancient corn, be it hammered, medieval, Roman. And you've done it, love. You've <laughs> absolutely done it. You're on your first ancient coin, and I'll be the first of many, love. Hope so. Are you happy? I am happy, yeah, yeah. I just hope there's going to be a few more like that now. Are we, are we going sightseeing tomorrow? Yes. Gonna have a nice day, aren't we, love? The old Sarum. On the pirate to Anglo Celtic? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, blooming hell. I found lots of uh, Tudor buttons that are completely round with a little loop for the button bit, the fastener. But if that's what this is, it's by far the biggest one I've ever found. I know you, you could maybe think it was a bell, but I don't know it's either a bell or a, like a Tudor version of a dandy button. don't know, it's huge. It's blooming huge, kids. Nocta, Nocta power, it's Nocta out the park again. Right, I've just come over to buy the cars and I've popped this hammered and that's definitely got stars on it, that usually denotes that it's Scottish. The other side needs a good wife, I'm going to go and wash it in a puddle over there. Hammered! Pirate! Puffs! <laughs> Scottish! Baldy.
hammered there with the stars on with the dark pattern as the one I just popped. I can't make out what's on the other side yet. It's probably, you know, a king's face. I mean, it's all there. That's the other side. Sometimes it's just a bit archaic and the, the, uh, the cross has come through us from the other side as well. I'll get a better look at that later. Not bad though, eh, kids? Two hammered, two Roman. I think on the far right that has actually turned out to be a pilgrim's badge. Nice hawking bell. And this nice little piece with the fleur de lis. Let's see if we can find any more for us, eh? No time for cake today, kids. No time for hammy dancers. Just on it with no food, just signals. Just taking a look at Adam's finds here. He's got a, a Willie sixpence, he's got a cut half, he's got a Vicky milled. Top left there is my favourite. He's got a lovely 1600s trades token. I still have an odd one of them. Really get great finds by Adam here. Just a bit windy so I've overdubbed this bit. He's got a few other coppers there and uh, yeah, there you go. Well done Adam, great finds mate, up be days. When you go on it, you can't see This is Carol's, in. it's no, solid no. bronze, probably fairly ancient, and it's like a stamp. There uh, you know, it's one of them in it, it's amazing. What have you had, Sid? Nothing. Two hammers, silver sixpence. Two battered cut quarters. Yeah. Uh, a warm silver sixpence. <laughs> Carol smashed it on the rare gun money. Yeah. Jordan's well, mate's got well Jordan's mate Adam. He's got cut off. He's got a Vicky Silver. He's got a lovely 1600s trade token. Loads has come up in it. It's been a good day, man. Yeah. You've had some Romans, haven't you, bud? Uh, yeah, silver. I've had bullets, uh, six burns. I think I've had what, four, possibly five Romans. Uh, yeah. Any detail on this just there? It's pretty toasty. Worth the drive, though. Yeah. The original pirate puffs here. We're in a secret messenger group and we change the name now and again. Rob started it two years ago, it was Rob's New Year's dig. Uh, most of the time it's pirate puffs though, isn't it, kids? <laughs> Top pirate puffs. Right, Just catching up with Rob, Jordan's other mate. Uh, he's got one of them little trolls at the very bottom there, copper hammered. That is a lovely trade token that amazing roman other romans a big blank silver and a lovely hammered and that nice roman on the end and rob smashed it as well but that's better well done rob happy, happy days happy days <laughs> rob's another top people are drifting off i'd stay all night and all, all tomorrow if i could but i can't this is some sort of oh 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 it's old and it's amazing oh it's old and amazing it's old and it's amazing well, I'm in hell don't know what it is yet but I absolutely love it I love it kids I just love it Maybe it's the back end of a very ancient broken key. Who knows?